This is the all-new Asus or Asus Zenbook Flip. This thing is looking really nice with a metallic design. It's a brushed kind of aluminum looking graphite. You can see it's got a lot going for it. It has really, really strong hinges on the device, which really helps it out when it comes to opening and closing it all the time. You might be wondering about the back when you see the speakers that they're on the back and the bottom, but you see you have these raised points so that it actually doesn't block the sound all that much. Same goes with the fan right here. Fan's not going to be obstructed by the table because you do have these raised points. On the side, you see you have all the ports you'll ever need, USB ports, HDMI, headphone jack, and so on. The other side has your typical on and off button with an additional USB port and a fan just in case. You have a soft touch with clicking and you do have a fingerprint scanner as well or fingerprint sensor to allow you to lock and unlock the device. The keyboard feels very nice to type on and the keys feel just fantastic but the screen has a very large amount of glare on it so you will have to be careful. So in this video we're not going to show you how this performs as a laptop because basically that's not why you come to us. You don't come to us to see the specs of an ASUS laptop. That's not why you go to goodyreader.com. We're going to look at uh, some books, some PDFs, we're going to look at an audiobook and some uh, graphic novels and manga and whatnot. So we got the Amazon Kindle app here, uh, Kindle for PC. So it starts off with a lot of the UI elements up top and you can turn pages using the left and right on the keyboard down below or you can turn pages on the buttons. You can also swipe of course. Now this is a very PC looking app obviously because you're on a PC so you have a lot of like the top bar, the X, the, the, the double screen and whatnot you can click this kind of cinematic zoom mode where you can now kind of get a little bit more immersed into the reading experience you do have all of the night modes and sepia sepia and the brightness of course that you would have in um the uh the e-reader now i must mention if you look at the screen it's uh very very reflective so as you're reading especially in night mode you can see that uh uh it's very reflective, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, what should we do? Oh, uh, I think we should turn it back to the day mode. And then you turn it back to day mode like so. You can choose line spacing, large, medium, small, page width, which is basically margins and whatnot. And then you can obviously slide through the book. You do have all the abilities to do long presses, search in Wikipedia, search in the web. And in this case, it opens up the web browser and allows you to search very quickly. The responsiveness on this is, uh, you know, way above an e-reader, obviously, because the this is a uh, this is a fully fledged laptop with a touchscreen surface, and of course we have the laptop uh, face down on the table here because it's the easiest to film. Back in the library here, we're able to click many different things. We're just going to show Overwatch because this is a graphic novel. Once again, you see that we're in this very PC esque mode we want to just go to the full screen mode. You can press S F eleven to get rid of that uh, mode. So if you double tap on something, this is where it really shines on a PC or a laptop is that you do this single celled view and this is awesome. However, you can't pinch and zoom. You can just go guided view and back and forth. So you can't actually zoom in on that, which is kind of strange because you can really do that on PDFs and other things. But this is basically just the graphic novel experience on this and you can see you can sync to the furthest page read which would be on your other device that you most recently were reading this on. We're now looking at PDFs on Adobe Reader because this is the default experience. This being a PC you can load uh, thousands of, of different applications and programs that will run PDFs. We don't have time for that. We're going to show you this. So once again, you have a big top bar with pluses and minuses and print screen and save to cloud. We just want to click on the full screen image here because this allows us to get into the PDF as just a maneuverable, interactable PDF. So 
as you're scrolling by here, it's not left to right, it is endlessly scrolling, which is kind of nice because um, it does, as you see, we're cut off because there should be more image down below, but that is made up for when you actually scroll up and down. So that's really cool. I kind of like this better than there being a small little screen, uh, square on the screen. This is much nicer. You do have the ability to long press on things, uh, certain things that do consider themselves text like so. It's not always going to work. You see it does work sometimes, but it's not going to see stuff like that because it's seen more as an image. You can pinch and zoom, um, it being a PC, you can almost pinch and zoom endlessly. We won't go too much further into this guy's pixelated nostrils, but we're just going to show you that you are able to do that. So if you are on something like this and you say, oh, what's that phone number? You can really zoom in and, you know, call Goodwin & Co. So the PDF experience, needless to say, is very good. This screen is boasting very nice colors. It's very fast. It's vibrant. Uh, there's no lag or anything like that. Nothing's really catching up to render. Gwen, T minus one day to the biggest wedding in the world. Standing on the sidewalk outside the Grand Hotel, Gwen Parker squinted into a surprisingly bright Friday morning in the center of London and confirmed her decision to give her latest crazy scheme a shot. Crazy had already proven to be surprisingly effective. So obviously because this is very quick and it has very good audio capabilities, twin speakers, all that, I mean we're not bound by the restrictions of an e-reader. We do have the ability to listen to audiobooks very clearly, very quickly, no lag, nothing like that. Now, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. A lot of you are saying, well this is a, an Asus tablet, show us what it can do. I mean, well, this we're good e-reader. We show e-readers and we show... Uh, you know, the reading experience primarily. You're not coming to us to see this review playing the latest games and playing HD movies, because that's simply not the point. We showed you the hardware, we showed you that this thing can read, it can listen to audiobooks, manga, uh, ebooks, of course, graphic novels, PDFs, pretty much anything you throw out at this is going to be able to deliver. So if you guys have any other questions, comments, or concerns, or you want to see anything else on this fantastic uh, two-in-one, basically, it's not detachable, but it is a full touchscreen surface. It does have the ability to do touchscreen and it has the full keyboard down below which we kept hidden throughout the review because obviously uh, this is not an easy thing to film especially due to the high reflectivity of the screen. For goodyreader.com and a review on the reading experience and quality of reading and listening to audiobooks on the Asus Zen Flip. This is Zen Book Flip. This is Peter.